Hi, my name's Nick. I'm the creator of sleeplikethedead.com. And this is a brief video review of a buckwheat pillow. And I have a buckwheat pillow uh, right here. The first thing I want to cover is why is it called a buckwheat pillow? It's called the buckwheat pillow because buckwheat hulls are what fill the pillow. And hulls are the uh, husks that protect the buckwheat kernel. And um, these are fairly lightweight. They have no real smell to speak of. In terms of advantages of a buckwheat pillow, a buckwheat pillow is very conformable. Uh, you can adjust it uh, just, just right in order to have the proper support for your head and neck. And it also will maintain this support without uh, collapsing or, or sinking in throughout the night. Another advantage is that the pillow is adjustable. There's a zipper here and you can add or remove buckwheat. And this will adjust uh, both the height and the firmness of the pillow. And this is important because um, each person has their own uh, preferences and needs in regard to the height of their pillow. And if the height isn't uh, correct, if it doesn't uh, properly align the head and neck, then this can cause all sorts of problems including headaches, uh, neck pain, and sleeplessness. In terms of disadvantages, um, as I mentioned a, a minute ago, the, the pillow is conformable. However, it takes a little bit of work to get the pillow to be uh, supportive for your, for your uh, head and neck. And this really isn't the case with some other types of pillows. For example, a memory foam pillow will automatically adjust um, to your head and neck. Uh, another possible disadvantage, at least in my opinion, is that the pillow is fairly firm. Um, I think it's one of the, the more firm pillows you can buy. And if, if you like firm pillows, and this is, a, this is an advantage for you, <clears throat> um, in my case, the pillow is about half full and it has all the firmness that I can take. Um, one last thing, as you can notice, the holes inside are a little bit noisy. Um, when you have your ear on the pillow, you'll hear a little bit of rustling, a little bit of compression inside. It's, I don't think it's a, a major deal, and I, uh, most people don't consider it to be a, a real problem, but it is a sort of noisy pillow. Um, uh, I have a lot more information about buckwheat pillows. And you can find it at my website, sleeplikethedead.com. If you're there right now, great. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, again, the web address is www.sleeplikethedead.com. And just navigate through pillows. Um, a lot more information there um, about buckwheat and uh, several other types of pillows, information that you probably won't find anywhere else. So I encourage you to come out and visit. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.